Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video or in this playlist, I'm talking about booking.com clone application. So I posted a starter video, a starting video. Okay, I will be covering the booking.com clone, but after that I didn't post the video because I was not having time. And I was busy in making some of the UI content, uh, UI pages so that I can show you the demo and then how to proceed further on this booking.com clone application. So this clone application is kind of a simple, I will not be covering, I will be just covering about the, the accommodation hotels and all it's like uh, same logic I'm going to implement same as the Airbnb clone. The only thing is, the only thing here is that the UI will be different, okay. So here what all things you can do, you can do the login and login with the Google and all these social providers. Here we can just, because it's not going to be as simple as we are doing with other simple clone application. I want to build it same as the Uber Eats clone application with using this monorepo, NX tooling and then all these Nest.js microservices where you can upload the, where you can list your own property on the booking.com and you can manage the bookings. And booking is always not an easy deal because you need to manage the booking of multiple people on multiple days, durations, availability, all those logics we need to code in our services and also the same needs to be reflected through our APIs. Okay, so the, the stack is simple. We are going to use a React and Next.js on the front end side. And for the back end, we are going to use Nest.js for the, it's Nest.js is Express. Nest.js is a Node.js API framework. We are going to Nest use Nest.js and Express for building the APIs. And for authentication, we can use simple either Google Auth because if we are using Next.js application, N-E-X-T, then we can use this Next Auth platform. If we are using a React app, then I will see how we can integrate a Next Auth. Otherwise, because uh, otherwise we can just use simple authentication with the username and the password. Okay, and we can also provide the authentication with the Google. Okay, so it's like a uh, same as we have done a uh, little bit parts on the Uber Eats clone that we have a two dashboard application, one dashboard application for uh, listing down your property, managing your property. And another application is the end user facing application, which tells you uh, about the, the listing of the property, which you can see here, where you can just see the different available options. And here you can just do a search based on the, the date picker. And here you can see all the different available options, right? And here you can choose the date time uh, that is some part is still in development and then here you can see the availability and all these options like if you go to the actual uh, booking.com you will see all these different options about the the, the facility because this is uh, you are looking for accommodation so these are the options like information facilities the rules uh, the availability of the wi-fi all these facilities which that particular property is providing all the different images which the owner has uploaded so it's going to be a little massive because we need to manage the lots of uh, images for a particular property so that the end user can decide okay he wants to uh, book an order for that property for the accommodation and we can just use this landing page nice and clean landing page to showcase okay what all properties are listed for which particular region and then once you do the booking so it's all about how we manage things on the front end using react app and the next.js application and how we do the same thing with the next.js api backend so it's going to be interesting application but i'm going to reuse some of the things which i have already built with for uber eats clone but i will be talking about end to end it's not like i just copy paste and start doing it we will be building authentication service but a little in the fast pace and we will be building this Next.js dashboard application with the Prisma, not with the Prisma because we are going to talk this Next.js services. Yes, but we will use a NextAuth uh, module to manage the session at the client and the server side. The dashboard application will be used by this uh, facility owner, the property owners who are listing their property and they can manage, they can upload the image, they can update stuff and they can see the bookings, available bookings which they have received from the end user. So it's all going to be the microservice jargons because they're going to be different microservice, file upload service, order service, listing service, uh, sorry, property service, 
I don't know there is a search service search we can use elastic search and all these uh, really uh, whatever the tools which you can think of while building a SaaS product we are going to adopt that some of the tools I have already discussed in the Uber Eats clone so it's going to be easy for me to recap and talk about them again but if you are starting this from the scratch then you can just follow along I'm not going to skip anything I will be keep posting and keep adding these playlist uh, videos on this playlist there are two things I'm covering here Udemy clone Udemy which is a learning platform and the booking.com which is a hotel and accommodation so in both the playlist I will keep adding the videos like day one day two day three but wherever I'm making progress I have created a mock UIs for both the platform then we will be just started writing the, the services how we are going to do the authentication how we are going to manage the data like the database structure database architecture what all different services we are going to build how we are going to manage the data and uh, what is the authentication strategy we are going to use and uh, database types different services and uh, like how the interactions is going to happen like what all different kind of a roles authentication authorization and the integration of the front end with the back end APIs and how we are going to expose the REST API interface. Should we use REST? Should we use GraphQL? All those discussions we are going to do in the architecture discussion. Uh, I'm going to because here I'm doing a local development, but we should also need to make it a production deployable application where you can deploy it as a Lambda or deploy it as a simple Node.js container because we are using these microservices that that are going to manage the data and every services will check the user authentication before performing any operation so all these things like uh, from searching to a property to uh, ordering uh, like buying that particular service from the property like i'm booking the hotel for a uh, five days then we need to run a different logics is this particular hotel available for that particular duration so availability and all those things will be fetched based on these parameters where are you going the location okay your availability durations and the number of people you are looking for so this is the only core engine of the booking platform how we are managing that all these things are connected okay uh, thank